Welcome back fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Hearts of Iron 3 with Black Ice 8.52. Okay, well let's continue this here. Sort of at a balance point. Of the war, Germany has sent a lot of their various allied types down to fight us here. And they have released, well, for the moment, successfully stalled any significant advance advances here. And I'm waiting for the Americans to get up to the front line. Oh, we have a major victory. Excellent. Down here, good. Or is it the Bangkok that's considered a major victory? Not sure, but I'd like to push Japan out of the Philippines. We've won in Bangkok, but we're moving. We're still moving in, and I want to get them there. The reinforcements, just so, because these guys are beat up now. We do have the situation out here. With Japan actually doing a reasonably good island hopping campaign. I've got a wall. Could be. Well, I don't see enough navy around here. I don't know. Because Deutschland is attacking us. Okay. Well, we're fairly beat up there. Now, let's get a few of these units out. Okay, there. Let's get them retreating. Good, you're fighting. You're in good shape. You're in good shape. You're in alright shape. You're in very good shape. Oh, you need to just retreat out. And you can retreat out too. And you as well. It's good we have some American divisions in there. I see some stacks without supplies, but I hope the Americans are sending in supplies to all these ports. There's plenty of ports around here. Alright, okay. These guys have made it here. Well, I wasn't sure what to do about them. We got, I want to retake. All of Sardinia. No, mentioning retaking, we need to retake these territories here. They're still on plan. Yeah, okay. Not that it's worth much, but. Uh oh, the guards brigade shattered. Sniper warfare. I'm just not looking. Oh, maxed out. Okay. Ah. Well, I guess we can start improving some of these. Oh, let's do armor cars. 
that'll be useful. have been fully organized. I don't know what's up with these Canadian divisions. They're retreating out way too easy. Infantry dead. And this division here just just got zapped. Well, I'm going to leave it there for the moment. I can't do much with it. Plastic defense is good to have, especially in this condition currently. I'm just thinking here, it's down there. Yeah, we're gonna let that go. Large warship radar, that's good to have, that may be maxed out, currently available. No, but it's 46 and we don't need to push that. Oh, ASW carrier guy, I like that. Twin engine airframe research has advanced. To keep that progressing forward. What do we got these guys in? Micro Stoich, I'm sure they must have punched things. What I'm sort of worried about is these here being trapped. Cut off. Attention to it, quite honestly.
I'm gonna try to buy a massive amount here. Yeah. No. Don't quite know if it's a massive amount. But much more than we can afford, I think. What I'm hoping to do is then other people will want to buy our supplies. No. The nav tactics have advanced. Not holding for a while, but this one. That gross Deutschland attack, for some reason, is just pounding us hard. Not that they're not, weren't a good division, they were, but that just seems a bit overkill. Now that seems more reasonable why they're taking us out. London Division is shattered as well. Okay, heavy bomber prototypes. That's one thing we're catching up on. Okay. Well. I really don't want to such a yeah. Sorry, I'm not good with some of these names. Unless I hear them. I'm gonna give you to the core. And send you there. Yeah, that's what I wanted to have happen. Give me some supplies. I'll give them supplies. They'll give me some money to pay for. Still winning some of the battles here. How are we doing out in Thailand? Okay, this is reinforced up. Good. Oh, well, Rebels popped up there. That's nice. See if we can take out this garrison in the Italian Social Republic. Uh, Air Force HQs, which helps our air organizations. Hmm. Organizational levels of air units, I guess I should say more correctly.
Okay. Yes. Shore Mexico and Okay. And yes. Now we'll take those. And they will HQ as well. As advanced as I anticipated that they would, because we have been researching it, of course. Their support. All right. Not sure exactly how I'm going to use those, but. See, when I'm not being watched, I have a tendency to lovingly um, organize things up and keep all of that well organized and but, you know, this is an already an 80 some episode series here, maybe 90 by now, but we'd be looking at We'd still be for the war going or something in this number of playing hours if I did it the way I would want to play. And you guys would probably get bored. I would get bored watching me, I think. Because the point of watching someone... Well, maybe hear me talk and see how... Well, this is it. Part of it is to see how the outcome of a... Um, battle or campaign you know do we hold in Italy or do they push us back do we you know punch up there is to see an outcome as well as to see um, decision making and not oh which um, core group or which core do we attach a, a particular division to or something like that that could just get a little bit you know too tedious mechanical computing but you see like here with mechanical computing and such you're sort of seeing my overall philosophy here of why I'm doing things and you're seeing how successful or unsuccessful they may be of course far from saying that because I'm doing it everything is being successful Okay, let's send some of these guys up to here. Even defensive troops. We be attached to our headquarters here. units to rebuild. Okay. 
Well, we're going to end the episode here, partially just because not that I'm not having fun, but I'm making this on the day that I'm uploading it, so I don't want it to get too long to take too long to upload because I want it up in time. So thanks for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. Do appreciate that. Of course, post your comments. Love hearing from you all, especially, you know, Archie Bunker. <laughs> Whatever I see your thing there sort of disturbs me a little bit because Archie Bunker with Vader's helmet. Ah, that's sort of weird. <laughs> okay, not that it's bad. It's just sort of, I mean, truly, it's not bad. It's just sort of weird juxtaposition because I grew up as a kid. My parents watch. I mean, this is when I was so young that, you know, you watch what your parents were watching. Oh, that, and we only had one television way back in the old days when Archie Bunker was... I don't know. I think I think I was watching them, you know, first run the series. So that was a long time ago. So I only have, shall we say, um, vague memories of him shouting Edith and whatnot and Meathead and whatever. So not that I'm any great expert on him, but that with and seeing Vader's face on that just sort of like, hmm, okay. Don't know if there's a particular message there or, or what, but so. Um, like I say, love hearing from you. Of course, tell your friends about the channel. Um, I'm hoping to play some more of the um, Cossacks 3. It's still in development. Um, I want to play a few more of the missions um, for the channel. They're sort of fun. Um, I sort of dig the 18th century stuff, but it still needs work, but it's still fun to, to play. See you next time.